Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. About three million people visit Springfield each year, and now you have a chance to be a tourist in your own city. It's National Travel and Tourism Week, and to celebrate that, the Springfield Convention and Visitors Bureau is giving away a staycation. CVB wants to highlight the importance of the local economy and some of the attractions here in Springfield. So Sean Dixon with the Visitors Bureau is here to tell us all about that. Sean, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Three million people, that's a lot of people coming to Springfield every year. I had no idea. Yes, and most people don't. So um, our travel economy in Springfield is one of those that people might not miss because there's so much other going on in the great business community that we have mm -hmm. and other parts of our economy. So what we like to do during National Travel and Tourism Week, which this week is, is sort of shed a little bit of, of a spotlight on our local tourism industry, kind of do what we do year round in other cities marketing Springfield mm -hmm. and do that in Springfield for Springfield. So our staycation is opportunity for us and for our partners, our attractions, our restaurants, uh, to do something nice for Springfield and to let them feel like what it's like to be a visitor here in Springfield. So three million people, that's just in Springfield. I wanted mm -hmm. to highlight the numbers too. So in Greene County, visitors spent about $760 million. That's in Greene County alone last year, creating more than almost 18,000 jobs. Right. Tell me a little bit more about the, the impact these visitors coming in and this money, whether it's creating jobs and making Springfield more marketable for new companies right. trying to come in too. Right. Well, as visitors come in and spend money, it's money that we don't have to spend to support our infrastructure. So the tax dollars that visitors pay going to our restaurants, staying in our hotels and going to our attractions help support our roads and our bridges and our infrastructure. They also help keep businesses open that Springfield may not be large enough to keep open that people still enjoy. We have hundreds of restaurants in this community. If it were just Springfield trying to eat at all those restaurants, we wouldn't have them. We need the visitors to come in and help support those businesses. So we have the variety of all the things to see and do in the area that we all enjoy as locals. Um, same thing with the attractions. Uh, Wonders of Wildlife is obviously a big draw for us now. With all those people coming in to see it, supporting all the businesses around it in the community, it creates a lot of jobs, a lot of great jobs. So it can be anything from an entry level position at a hotel or a frontline clerk at a, like a restaurant, all the way up to managers and executives in those things. So it's a huge part of our economy. But if you're not looking for it, it's one of those things that can be missed easily if you're not aware that, yes, people like to visit Springfield and that there's a lot of things here to see and do. You mentioned the restaurants, that we have so many restaurants here. And when I first moved to Springfield about three years ago, that's one thing I noticed. Yes. There's so many different local restaurants. And you also said if you're not looking for it, you're not going to find it. That's mm -hmm. one thing I noticed too. I thought, wow, there's so much to do in Springfield uh, compared to where I used to live before or my hometown. But it's like, it's because I'm looking for those things. And that's yeah. one thing that maybe if we live somewhere, we are not doing. Yes. So that's kind of the point of this giveaway. Become a tourist in your own city. Absolutely. So, you know, if you move here from another region or another area, you see it with fresh eyes and you see all this great things going on. If you're like me and you've been here for almost 20 years uh, or even your whole life, Springfield is a creature of habit and we tend to forget about all the things that are happening outside of our route to work or to school um, or whatever our routine is. Mm -hmm. So this giveaway is an opportunity for us to tell Springfield to take a second, think about it with fresh eyes and look at all the great things to see and do around you uh, and around the city that you're not going to necessarily see on your daily commute every day. And we've got a great list of partners in this and yes. we're thrilled Tell that they Tell me about what's yes, included in the yes. giveaway. Well, lots of restaurants are obviously on this thing. The Aviary Cafe, BYOP Pizza, Alamo Draft House Cinema is on here with some movie tickets, but they're also a great place to eat as well. We've got uh -huh. some popcorn uh, vouchers on here as well. Andy's Frozen Custard, Andy's is a huge supporter a of ours classic. and we love them, right? I love that. That's a name that definitely <laughs> carries outside of Springfield and we love working with them. Bruno and Kai, one of my favorites for a long time. Bricktown Brewery, which is a newer location for us mm -hmm. on the south side. Really great place to find mm -hmm. a whole lot of beers, uh, local and from out of the region as well, uh, with some great bar food as well. Speaking of, Big Whiskey's American Restaurant and Bar is on here as well. Paul, uh, who owns that, is on our board. So great shout out to them. And thank you guys for helping out with this. Of course, you have the Fantastic Caverns as well, yes. the Zoo, and Wonders of Wildlife is on there as well. We had to have Wonders of Wildlife on there. Um, since since their opening in September of 2017, after a nine-year hiatus, we've definitely seen a big impact to the overall tourism economy here. Lodging revenues with the hotels have jumped, uh, spurring some, some developments that have been in the news lately, uh, all stemming back to the opening of that facility, which is incredible. So we've got four passes on there. If you didn't have a chance to go see them during their friends and 
family discount in March, this is a great opportunity to get in there and see what all the hype is about. It is an amazing world-class facility. So how can people sign up? They can go to our website, springfieldmo.org. It's right there on the homepage in the top header. Can't miss it, click the link, and then be sure to get your name in there. I checked before I came here and we had almost 3,000 entries for this giveaway. So it is very popular uh, and you can't get it if you don't enter. So please go to our website and, and sign up. Yeah, this sounds like a great opportunity to do all of these things for free if you win. Yes. That's amazing and so many options, good options, and maybe something that people who have lived here for a long time haven't even done it themselves. Right, or haven't done for a long time. Fantastic mm -hmm. Caverns is one of those people I've heard, uh, they went when they were kids but they haven't gone back. It's still just as fun as you remember it and it is very cool on a hot day. So uh, if it's sweaty <laughs> outside, it's a great, you can go in there, you can sit and ride through it and it's, it's nature's air conditioning being in a mm -hmm. cave. Also baseball tickets are on here as well not just any tickets we've got sweet tickets on here so if you had had a chance to experience a Cardinals game from a suite it's a really fun perspective and uh, we'll be happy to host you on that yeah. one all of this sounds like fun good luck to everyone and Sean thank you so much for being here thank you for having me we'll be right back right here on Nozark's Fox